know about you guys, but sometimes school gets really busy, exhausting, and sometimes kind of overwhelming. And it just feels like it's one straight schedule with not too much excitement. Every day you wake up at 5.30, you get out of bed, you brush your teeth, you eat breakfast, do school, do homework, maybe run outside a little bit, go to sleep, wake up the next day, brush your teeth, get out of bed, or actually you get out of bed, then brush your teeth. Doing everything in one schedule just kind of gets a little monotonous. So I've been trying to find a way to break the routine and to actually live. Not just live in a time loop, but in a little bit more of an adventure. Or maybe not in an actual adventure, but at least something more exciting. So my basic idea to uh, get some other stuff done while I'm also doing on my school is to kind of uh, change how I do things and try to be a little bit more consistent with the way I get all my stuff done. To see if I can leave myself some extra time after I'm done with school and after I'm done with homework. So let's see if I make this work. Yeehaw! So I've been thinking about everything that I need to do and I've come up with a couple key ideas. So I know number one, I have to know exactly what I need to get done for school and for homework. Be extremely efficient. I just need to get done the main things and that's it. Then I need to have a plan of everything I want to do after that and immediately start doing those things. And then these things that I want to do, you know, after my main stuff, I need to have planned out. I'm going to have to sit here and brainstorm a little bit. I now have a notebook with three things written on it. I need a whole page filled up with stuff. So now I need to start thinking. So I'm thinking the main things we need to do, we've definitely got to bake cookies because why not? Cookies are awesome. I would like to learn some new things on the bike. I don't know if you know this, but I do tricks on mountain bikes. I need to learn some new ones. I would like to do some cool photography. I haven't had time to take a bunch of cool photos. I want to take some macro photos, maybe some star photos, and I need to find a sunset. At some point, this is just the ultimate goal. I need to have a cool sunset. I'm looking at it. We've got to make that happen. So these are some of the main things I've got to do. I can get these done along with managing all my other things and getting everything done on time. That will be a success so I'm excited this is going to be a lesson in Samuel giving a lesson and learning a lesson at the same time in good time management uh, and we're gonna see if I can make it happen so if you guys have any tips for time management please leave them in the comments because I'm going to probably need them I need to create a schedule I miscalculated so <laughs> The last clip y'all saw, I finished up this list here of everything I was gonna do, and I thought I was gonna be able to get to it all this week. It is now Tuesday night. It is entirely dark outside, and I have done absolutely none of this stuff. Not a single thing. I have been doing absolutely nothing but school in the afternoon. It's just been a busy week, and I was filming this entire video as an idea to have more time to do things after school. I picked the worst possible week to film this video, so we're gonna have to delay it a little bit. So as we all know, guys, YouTube videos are absolutely perfect and nothing ever goes wrong in them. Yeah. I mean, this thing right here, cookies, that's the important stuff right there that we gotta get to. Well, we finally have a change of events and we are actually doing something this time. And I'm going to be baking some black and white cookies. As you can see, they look pretty awesome. So let's just get started here. I'm uh, starting to consider that maybe I'm not meant to be a baker. It is now time for reveal. The black and white cookies are finally completed. Check that out, I have to go eat this right now. For a day one update, the cookies were fantastic as you saw in the in the video. I mean, they were just the highlight of the week. Getting everything done on time was good. So I'll see you tomorrow. Well, we're now in the middle of this experiment and I've just finished classes, so now I need to do some homework and I'm going to try my schedule with my plan of just sticking with everything and getting it done as quickly as possible and we're gonna see how much time I actually have left to do this. Right now, it is about 1 p.m., so we're gonna see how long this takes to do all my homework for all my classes and uh, have some time left to do on this afternoon. Let's get to it. Good news, classes are done, and I have a little time. It's only about 3.30 right now. I need to go outside. So we're gonna ride some mountain bikes and I have something that I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna ride my quarter pipe. I want to come up, 
I want you to do a 180, stall on the quarter pipe, and then 180 and fakey back down. So I'm gonna put the tripod up and we're gonna see how many attempts this takes. Uh, I've never actually attempted this before, so uh, I just need to get on the bike and get started. Here we go. That was like four tries and I did it. Midway update, uh, as you just saw, I've been able to do, be very effective at getting a lot of stuff done and have a lot of extra time to do things I've been wanting to do. So, so far, this week has been very successful. I haven't been set back, I haven't been caught up too much. So I've been able to get a lot of stuff done and uh, my strategy has been to just divide everything up into a lot of little smaller things and get a lot of these little small things done back to back to back and then it all adds up and I get a lot of stuff done really efficiently. So far, that has been working great. Uh, what have I done? I've baked cookies, I've been on a bike ride. Tonight, I have an idea, I want to do some light painting if you essentially get some lights and wave them around in front of a camera with a long exposure and you get a pretty cool looking photo so I need to make myself a light wand dance around with a light in the middle of the night in front of a camera and hope that it turns out let's go have some fun doing that so I've taken light painting photos and they're a little bit hit and miss for me just because it's kind of hard to see where you are in space when you're just waving a light around. You don't really have anything to go off of. But today I'm going to do something new. I want to see if I can actually take a light painting photo on my iPhone in a night mode and just set the phone up and then, you know, move around with the light and actually see if I can light paint uh, just using the, the computational light exposure on the iPhone. So I don't know if this is actually going to work. It might try to edit the light out. Just taking pictures on your phone that look that amazing like light painting photos do. That would be pretty cool, so I need to go find this out. Uh, this is my multi-colored flashlight wrapped up with a piece of printer paper, and what it does is it will glow certain colors. I need to have my bike setting up. We're gonna take this, we're gonna swirl it around in different colors, kinda look like a little lightsaber dance going on. I don't know what to call it, but hopefully the result turns out pretty good. Well, good news, I have gotten my camera set up. See, that felt awesome. We gotta see what this looks like. So, while I was editing this video, I realized that in my excitement, I completely forgot to show you what the light painting photo looked like. Final result, as you can see, there was actually light painting, and it looks way better than what I was ever expecting an iPhone photo to look like. And you can see just how beautiful this photo is. I mean, this was taken on an iPhone with a flashlight with paper taped around it. Let that sink in for a moment. Well, good news! We have made it to the last day of this week of this experiment, and today I think it's going to be the day that I'm going to go and find and catch a sunset. I think it's going to be a good one tonight. We have some nice clouds out, so it should go well, and I am extremely excited for it. So I'm going to take some drones and uh, some cameras, and we're going to see if we can find a sunset to wrap up this week and wrap up this day, and uh, pretty much this entire experiment. Let's go catch a sunset. <laughs> Well, I have now officially made it through an entire week of being as productive as I can to get all my stuff done and then leave myself some time to go and do some other things that I want to do. And I can officially say that has been a success. I was able to get a lot of extra stuff done that normally I probably wouldn't have been able to get to. I did learn a lot about managing my schedule and being as productive as possible and just dividing up my tasks into the way that I needed to get them done as quickly as I can and maximize my productivity, I guess. I did learn a lot about how to do that and just kind of what tasks are important and how to divide them up. And if you have any tips and tricks on how you manage your time and how you maximize your productivity, please comment those down below because I'm really interested in this now. I did almost start doing bullet journaling and that was very helpful to just kind of keep track of everything. I learned a lot, I hope you guys did too. And uh, with that, I'm out of class. So it's time for me to get out of here.